talk about marriage and divorce, as well as the rate at which divorce rates are rising and falling around the world. Notice that contrary to common assumptions, divorce rates have once again dropped in the Western world. Despite this, the divorce rate is still not at an all-time low or even a very low level. To this figure, there is a caveat though. Divorces are declining because fewer people are getting married, which reduces the number of marriages. Women are growing anxious. They are left feeling helpless as they witness males abandoning the game of dating and marriage. So why does this favor guys so much? Well, because it shows that men are becoming more and more conscious of the risks associated with marriage. There are more men going their own way than we all previously thought. More and more men are making the decision not to commit to long-term relationships with women. Since they are aware that marriage won't provide them with enough, men have decided against getting married. You might be thinking how fantastic it is that divorce rates in the US have reached a 50-year low. Someone like myself might have a chance to fall in love, get married, and enjoy a successful union. Only 14.9 out of 1,000 marriages last year ended in divorce. It may not seem like a very high figure at first, but if you calculate the percentage of all marriages that end in divorce, it comes out to be close to 50%. In 2019, the marriage rate in the United States fell or recently hit a record low. According to reports, it has recently been falling swiftly and just hit a record low in 2019. I just read an article that discussed the decision made by thousands of guys not to get married. It was written by a woman, and she gave her thoughts on why this trend disturbed women everywhere. According to the article, marriage rates are falling, which is a terrible idea. Imagine spending years with a man, living with him, and giving the relationship your all without ever receiving a ring from him. There wouldn't be a wedding, no bridesmaid dresses, and no lavish gathering of loved ones. What about the idea of having kids without being married? The author intentionally gives the impression that this is something that is happening or has already happened. I'm going to read an interview from a different piece where they kind of think that women are approaching them secondhand because they want to make the most of their fun years. There are two perspectives on this. One, she is plainly in the used market because she has dated previous men. But let's be honest, most of us who marry are married or have committed long-term relationships frequently fail. You never show up looking thrilled and stating, hey, I've never been with anyone else. As a result, you can use me right away. Let's be real here. That simply does not occur anymore. The common response from the ladies is, but I never got to experience what it's like to be with other people, and I'd like to find that out. Let's be honest, then. That is essentially a pipe dream right now. 2. Guys who say things like, Look, when you were cute, and you were young, and you were vivacious, energetic, and had all these fantastic times, that's when I wanted to date you. However, you ignored who I was and hooked up with the popular, appealing, and athletic guys of that era. I was working extremely hard to earn my degree, increase my IQ, start my own company, complete my projects, and secure sponsorship from major organizations in order to have a successful job, a comfortable lifestyle, and self-generational wealth. You're trying to get in when I'm finally proud of what I've accomplished and standing on my own two feet. So, you're just riding my wave of success, like you've been riding those of other men throughout your life. Men frequently refuse in these circumstances. You want me now that I'm at my best? They ask. Why were you unconcerned with me when I was at my worst? Simply because I'm having a good time. Thus, the female author of the piece continues. It's fine if you disagree that marriage is vital. The rest of us do. The majority of women want to marry the man of their dreams. But if millions of men decide against it, many of them won't be able to. This is what is happening right now everywhere in the world, including in America. According to Philip Cohen, a professor of sociology at the University of Maryland, women's independence and gender equality has a significant impact on the long-term drop in marriage rates. It is women who are making this decision. It would be interesting to see what would happen if a woman walked up and said, hey, I got my degree, 
I've been in a couple of relationships, and they didn't work out, but I'm serious, and I'm in my mid-twenties, and I want to have a long-term relationship and a family, and I've made good decisions in my life, so let's do it. But I can assure you that men would generally be alright with this. In fact, they would be happy. Women are saying that 40 is the new 30, for example. This allows me to party, enjoy myself, and freeze some eggs. This really does exist. I'm not the only one who has noticed that women are going out at later and later hours just for fun and casual dating. Once family time arrives, they announce, Okay, I need to find a donor or a man. I have to get those eggs out and establish a family while I'm still only 42. A lot of men are stating, I'm out if we have children or if you show up for the deal with children already. So take that into consideration. Another option is to say something to the effect of, look, you want babies now, I'm 40, or she's a little younger, the guy is 45, or something of that effect. He claims, man, by the time the kids are 20 years old, I'll be 65, almost 70. Since I've wanted kids when I was younger, I'm not interested. So, a man has long since stopped seeing himself to be a part of a couple by the time he is in his 20s or 30s and starts to live and make money alone. He says, before you know it, hey, this isn't such a horrible deal. Perhaps I won't be able to have children or live with a wife, but that's okay because I'm truly enjoying myself. The article continues by stating that there has also been an upsurge in men's rights movements like men going their own way and the manosphere, where males frequently express their dissatisfaction with how unfairly they are treated in relationships and in the justice system. They are tired and sick of receiving unfair treatment due to laws that penalize them based on gender. Millions of men are deciding to forego marriage altogether as a result. We discuss these laws with one another as well as how society perceives us. We do not internalize this. I don't internalize anything that others or society say about men, patriarchy, or anything else that they might say about me. Men need to speak out about these issues, in my opinion, because that is how laws are created. Otherwise, males will continue to suffer as a result of the laws being unfair to them. The male brain is developing. Men are delaying getting married and are happier being divorced rather than staying with a manipulative wife. Because of new laws that go into effect that degrade men, dishonor men, and announce that men are bad, forget about it. The marriage rate has already fallen to its lowest point in history, and if my predictions come true, it will continue to do so. We will not participate in marches and parades that include violent retaliation or aggressive behavior. We'll just say, okay, great, I'll go my own way, and be content by myself. My amazing group of male mates and I will go motorcycle riding or jungle hunting. We'll exert every effort to enjoy life and lead contented lives. Let's examine a few of the sociological elements that led to the decline of marriage. The male desire for marriage has never been lower. This is probably the main reason that casual intimacy is spreading. They don't need to promise to get married, have children, honor, obey, and cherish each other, among other absurd things you say in marriage vows, only when it's now convenient for many men to say them. Hey, I can swipe on Tinder or some other online dating app and connect with someone someday. On particular websites, anyone can look for a professional woman. Intimacy is the primary trait that men actually seek in a partner. Everything else is also available to them via other channels. Can they demand money from a woman? No, since the male always needs to be the one to take care of things in a relationship. Guys still have the option to look for male friendship. Are they able to look for a friend? I believe they can find that in both persons and dogs. Therefore, truthfully and without offense, what men desire from women is what's down under. Guys truly don't feel the need to get married and disrupt their quiet lives when they're living as happy single men and when they can simply achieve that without any strings attached. So, as a result of all of this, women are becoming more and more concerned. They are left feeling helpless as they witness males abandoning the game of dating and marriage, 
abandoning them to their own ways and double standards. Let us know in the comments if you have anything to add to this, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.